Hello, before going into some of the guidelines and rule for meshing, let's first understand the basic option to start with mesh. Here I have a simple plate. Now the first thing that I will do is to create the mid surface. So I will go for mid surface. I will select the surface and then say extract. You can see in my component collector another middle surface has been created and I will isolate that collector only. I will say isolate only and here a surface collector has been shown and you can see a current collector is also set to middle surface. Now to start with meshing you can press shortcut F12 on your keyboard or you can simply go to 2D and here we will have auto mesh option. One by one we will see every single thing over here. Here we will have this drop down and with the help of which you will be able to mesh two things. One is surface and one is element. Suppose you have a existing elements and you want to remesh them then you can switch to the element and suppose you want to mesh the surface you can switch to the surface. So I will switch to the surface. Now select the surface so I will select this surface. Next thing that we have is element size. Now the element size is nothing but average length of a quad edge or average length of a triangular element edge. So we can say here 10 is the average element size or average length of a element. Second thing that we have is a mesh type. What type of elements you want? Whether you want quad element, triangular element or mix element. Mix element is nothing but combination of quad and tri element. If geometry is very simple as you can see over here plate is very simple. Here entire domain can be meshed with the quad element only. But most of the time it is not possible to have a such simple geometry. So in that case triangular element will get automatically created. But whatever your choice of element may be you can set it over here. So I can set it to mix. Now here we have this option called as an element to surface component and element to current component. We will see the difference between the current component and the surface component in the later class but for time being just understand here this is nothing but our current component and the collector to which this surface belongs is nothing but the surface component. In this case both the surface component and current component are one and the same. In the previous class we have seen there are two types of element linear element and parabolic element or first order element and second order element. So you can set order of element over here. Here one point you can note whenever we mesh 2D elements it is generally meshed with the first order and whenever we mesh the 3D elements most of the time they are meshed with the second order. Since we are performing the 2D mesh I will set this to the first order and I will keep this connectivity because I want to have my mesh connected and next I will say mesh. Now you can see once I say mesh uh, another window has opened. In this window I have four options density mesh style, biasing and checks. So with the help of density you can change the number this 20 and 20. So basically it means I have 20 elements along the length and I have 10 elements along the width. Suppose I want 25 elements along the length then you can change that. You can come to the adjust, select the edge with the help of left mouse button you can change the number. Here also I want to change the number so I can change the number with the help of left mouse button. If you want to reduce the number then you can press right mouse button in order to reduce the number. Not only that suppose instead of 25 you want to have the number 50 then it is not possible for you to click 25 times. In that case what you can do is press and hold left mouse button and you can slide your left mouse button so that number will increase automatically and very fast. Here also I can do the same thing press and hold left mouse button and increase the number. Here you can see a number has been increased but you are not able to see the change. So in order to see the change you can go for mesh. Now though you have started with the element size of 10 mm but later on you came to realize oh element size supposed to be 5 mm. So later on also you can change it. So I can say element size to be 5. Here I can say recalculate all. So if I say recalculate all then for the entire domain element size will be set to the 5 and if I say age only then for the particular age only the element size will set it to 5. So here I will say recalculate all. So all the element size will be set to the 5. Let me change the element size to the 10 and say recalculate all. 
recalculate all and then say mesh in the similar fashion what if i want to have at every single edge i want to have the 25 number of elements again it will be very hectic to go for each and individual case and then set number to 25 instead of that i can come over here and here i have element density and this number i will set it to 25 and simply if i click on edge i can select a particular edge on which i want 25 element or simply i can go for set all to in single click all the edge will have 25 number of elements again if i am good with my mesh i can say return